Hello. Welcome. I am Combustible Dan. I am doing Record of Lotus Wars. Um, this is a game that I I really enjoyed, but I never beat. So I'm sorry to say I'm not I'm not very good at it. I just wanted to showcase it. Uh, that was my whole purpose of of doing this game. Uh, so I don't know if anyone knows Record of Lotus Wars. It is. We're gonna watch the intro because I'm just showcasing the game. So we're gonna watch the intro of it. But it was based off a D and D adventure that a group of people in Japan played. I think they're kind of actually somewhat famous in the game world. Um, I don't remember who they were, but they played a D&D &D adventure and they transcribed it into the uh, magazine. And eventually they took those transcriptions and made it into a TV series or anime. Uh, and then the anime was released. I, I found the anime and I really, really loved it. And then the game for uh, Record Lotus War came out for the Dreamcast, and I was blown away because I was like, I didn't realize they were going to make that into a game, and I just found it. I was like, well, I gotta buy it, and so I'm <laughs> getting. So it's kind of like a D and D fancy series. Um, so let's watch the intro. Yeah, there is a novel series as well. It's really good. I haven't I haven't watched any of that either, or read any of that. There is no Mike is cutting sometimes. You shall rise, the great wise Walt. Carla, the grey witch who has toyed with the history of Lodos for 500 years. So hopefully you can hear the game here. You haven't changed your mind so that's about Wart, what you and that's intend the witch to do, Carla. For one day only, for one day only, I need to get hold of the Emperor's secret treasure. Wonderland was a surprise release too. Yeah, I saw that. Well, that's the one that just came out like ah, recently. That I was, I was amazed. I didn't expect that one to come out either. The one for the Wonderland. Treasures. They just come out of nowhere. They don't tell you these games are coming. <laughs> here's, here's Record of Lotus Wars. Wand of life. There you go. And the crystal ball of souls. <laughs> oh, so the story of. Amusing. In it's kind of interesting because the story of the, the series, the, the first demons. series, came out you and it followed it up to a point. And they, they made a second series, Just but the makers the didn't like that storyline. And the game itself follows its own storyline path. Wheel. It takes over from the first series to this. into its own well, path then, uh, of a story. What can you offer in return? I, that, at least that's what I, I read online, if it's true. Nothing. But the storyline for the game nothing follows this its own path, and it, it <laughs> takes a different turn. <laughs> it's not canon, then? I don't, I don't know which one's right. canon, though, because there for was... A, I, I couldn't understand which one they followed, which Manor, path they followed. Source of power, so we directing a great warrior, skill, which you will get to play. Uh, so he went to the witch carter to get some sea, artifacts or you know, these magical vessel, items that only she had taken care blood. of or, or watched over. And now he's bringing back you, uh, one elements. of the great warriors of the past, to fight the evil dragon Cardus, as Cardus is being resurrected as well. So you are the good guy being resurrected, and Cardus is the bad dragon being resurrected. And, uh, people of that time didn't fight, they just re resurrected people to fight each other. Animes and magnets are killing. Yeah, games are never killing. But it does follow its own path. Pick it up. Get that item. Grab it. Why just leave it there? I've never seen that one. There you go. So now this is a, a sort of a Diablo-like game. It's an adventure RPG, so you get to level up. Good of you to come. We're gonna go through a little hero. tutorial here. Uh, so his name is Warp. If you say you feel right now, you must trust in me. In time, all will become clear. Now then, life shall be honored with a new name. How do you wish to be known? And we will just call ourselves uh, Sega. And it has to be yelled. No, no lower characters. You gotta yell the name. Sega, approach me. 
Brought you back from the realm of the dead because I need your help. We have a little time, but I'll answer your questions the best I can. Um, so he, you know, he asks questions. He doesn't ever tell you anything. <laughs> Why is he resurrecting you? You're going to fight the, the guy. And what do you do next? Okay, you go through training. First of this type you've ever played. Yeah, Baldur's Gate vibes. You know, I played Diablo, but, you know, this this was kind of the first of this kind of played, too. Uh, let me follow him. Actually, we're going to go over here and just uh, we gotta equip the item. And I'm just going to steal this so I don't have to come back here later. So you've equipped your sword already. Good. You're ready for your first lesson. So we're just going to kind of skip through the tutorial stuff. But this game, yeah, this game is is a really good game. Uh, I, I really do enjoy it. Uh, I think most of the weapons and armor that you pick up are set in place, and there's not a lot of randomness to it. Um, if you want to learn how to attack, there you go. We gotta attack that, like we did the other chest. Um, so everything's kind of predetermined where things are. Oh, you gotta equip it now. Uh... Why can't I? Oh, I was still talking to him, so I couldn't equip anything. There we go. Okay. Pick up the item here, so it's teaching you how to use your keys. So you have to use your analog stick to move around, um, and, and then you use your joypad or whatever to select items. And it's just kind of teaching you that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask him to teach me how potions work, just so I get a bunch of potions. Uh, okay. Thank you. Taught me well. We'll move on from here. Yeah. So I. I mean, the game itself is fun. We gotta, we gotta learn how to save. So I'm gonna save over there. I really enjoyed. It. I haven't beaten it yet, but I will. I do want to do a playthrough of it. It's. It's really enjoyable uh, if you like the, you know, the RPG action adventure kind of games. There's story to it with Reckless Lotus War, the main characters come back in it. Um, those kind of things. So if you, if you like the story of Reckless Lotus Wars, I really do think that this is a good game for you. It's going to teach us how to fight. So the B button is just to attack, so we're going to just kind of tank it. Knock down once in a while, I don't like it, but pick this up. Uh, I keep meaning to go in my items to use it when I use that. Okay. We'll finish going through tutorials. And it opens up eventually. Crusader, no remorse. I don't know Crusader. Uh, I don't know that one. I didn't play too many of the Saturn games except for uh now I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. I can't remember the name of it. I completely lost it. Guardian Heroes. I'm gonna check out Silver if you get a chance. I think it's uh, pretty much the only... Alright, so then we learn that this thing can heal up your potions. Uh, I think we have to fight some more. Get our boots. Now we have a full set of armor. We can heal. My friend. Okay. So we're almost out of the tutorial dungeon. Now you gotta do the big boss fight to get out of the tutorial. But Wart's gonna... Are you coming? There he goes. Wart's gonna come and fight, so he wants you to take out the skeletons. Most of the time, you just gotta run away, kill these guys, let Wart take care of everything with his giant fireballs. Like one hit from those guys just basically kills you. No! See? <laughs> I thought I could survive one. I thought I could survive one. Usually it doesn't do that much, but maybe it was the other guy. Take archers out first. Yep, that's... that's... Maybe it's because I didn't equip the boots and the shield. That, you know, that could be why. 
<laughs> My <laughs> friend. And the game opens up later on, so right now you're kind of following a path. Most of the game has a path you follow in a way, but you can choose which direction you want to go. There you go. Can't take that. Let's kill the archers. You can mostly dodge things too. Come on, work. Do your thing. Just take them out. There you go. Time to be a coward. <laughs> take the chance. He's like two fives, but we take the chance. Okay. We already went down and got the, the headgear. And now now it's sort of opens up to the world, but they want you to go and defeat the goblins. Uh, it's kind of a test. So he sends you to defeat the goblin knight or goblin leader. So we're, we're going to go do that. So we go out into the world and start our true adventure. Make a save here. I like to save a lot. Archer's always giving you the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if you like a Diablo-like game, I think you'd like this. Also, there there is no speedrun of this game on speedrun.com, so if anyone wants to speedrun this game for 18 to 12 hours or whatever, <laughs> however long this is, you could get the world record. We're gonna kill a little. Uh, I want to find a treasure chest that's up there that has a strength item in it. We're gonna go get it just, just so we can kill enemies more in a single hit. And we are. And we also get these keys that open up treasure chests. Now we'll do more damage. Uh, there are many different swords, and we'll kind of show the upgrade system that's available for your weapons in a little bit. You can upgrade your weapons. You can also uh, level up, but it seems like leveling up your weapons does more for you than leveling up does. This will that. Uh, let's see what this is. Play more. I like this weapon. It's a giant two-handed weapon. You can't use a shield, but it does more, more damage to everything. So I like doing more damage just so you kill something quicker and give them less time for you to take damage. It's a defensive strategy. Attack with something strong to take less damage. Um, and now we're going to run down to the house that we need to get to. Um, to... I can remember which way it's supposed to go to advance the the game story. So we're supposed to go to the goblin castle or stronghold. Uh, the issue with it is that it's guarded and you have to find a secret way in. And of course there's someone down here that knows the secret way. So we're gonna head down there. Yeah, definitely some big Diablo inspirations. The items that are dropped, I don't think are that random. So like I said, most of the items that you find are predetermined in what they are. And you randomly get mithril and stuff like that. I am Sega, a great warrior. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, can you find me a way to the fortress? Okay. So we get this, you need scrolls to unlock things. Now that we got that, we can go we're going to save here. Uh, we don't really have to, but I, I'm a save-a-holic. Imagine waking up a chamber, you face cracks, and then you run outside. <laughs> you go deal with this. Just You don't even get coffee. You just wake up and have to deal with all the bad guys out there. Yeah. It's like you wake up, and then you have to save the world. Naked, yeah, it's naked here. In your skitties. Uh, which way do I have to go? I don't know the maps completely yet. 
Yeah, he was completely naked when he appeared, but of course, when it turns to the gameplay, you have you have underwear on. I don't have to break the seal. And now we can get into the secret passageway. So we're trying to collect as much items down here as possible as well. Uh, there are, when, when we get to upgrading our weapons, we want all these items to sell for Mithril. Okay, so we can give to our weapons later on. Uh, let's see here. Try to remember which way to go. That's not the wrong way. Here we go. That. A lot of dungeons. You get a, you get to choose your way. You get to go later on once you get through the, the beginning. Uh, we want to kind of get our stronghold from once we defeat the goblins. We'll that we'll make that our stronghold, and then we can that'll be our home base. And you go adventuring on the world to fix everything. find everything there is down here and you know fight our way to level up uh, let's see. there is a way to move the camera I never do just oh that that guy never came to life before on me that's a first maybe I got too close to me. see I like this giant sword because one hit pretty much kills everything even though it's slower it's not that much slower than everything else. Oh, come on. Sometimes hitting enemies is a little, little annoying. So if you press B to attack, uh, it's a one-time swing. Uh, if you hold down B, and then you can still move around while holding down B, and then when you press the R trigger, you'll swing. And then I can just kind of hold the R trigger and it'll be an automatic attack. Uh, so you kind of hold it down and just use your R trigger to attack as as a way as, a, as opposed to mashing B. Hey. Snap Dress, thanks for the raid coming in. That's awesome. Welcome into the Sega crew. There we go. Things that are red are kind of the boss of the room, I guess. They, they usually have some kind of special items. We'll get that ring. I think that gives us more HP or dexterity. I forget. Dexterity. I, I missed an HP ring somewhere. We'll get another one. Uh, I think we want to go up here. Yeah, maybe we go in this room. I think this room loops around. Let's just, let's beat that one boss guy. Yeah, this thing gives us. HP. So we're gonna take that just so we have more. Now now that we have higher HP, now we're in danger because the percentage wise of our HP is is how it determines that. I don't know if it's a third of your HP when you're down to a third of it or something, the danger symbol appears telling you you gotta heal. Yeah, so right now we're playing Record of Lotus Wars. We just come in. Just kind of showcasing a little bit of the gameplay, a little bit of the game. Um, and we will uh, just to kind of show it off. I still have to play through it in my uh, life. I haven't played through the game. The attack combat, you kind of... Uh, that's the way we have to go. You're going to take some damage when you're fighting. They're going to hit you while you hit them. If you're fighting a big cr creature or something larger, you, you can try to time your hits and dodge. Uh, but usually it's hard to run away in time without getting hit unless you determine like, which side to hit them on. And I think there is something with being closer to an enemy at the top as the bottom, as, as like the hitbox is further up on the creature when you're above it than it is below it or something. I don't know if that makes sense. The, the healing potions heal you all the way. I'm getting stuck on stuff. Oh, rocks there. Let's run through here. 
that. All right. I don't need any more potions, and we're full on potions up there. Now we can continue on to the rest of the adventure. I think we got all the items we can get. Let's head down here. There's a ton of low source games. There's a lot more than I thought. I, I never really knew if there was anything out there, really. I thought, you know, like I said, I found this one randomly when I was at Electronic Boutique, I think it was the place I was at. Uh, that's usually where I did all my shopping at. Um, and I, I don't, I didn't know about all the other games that were out for Dreamcast. Um, um, oh, no matter. <laughs> Trying to God, I know. Devil, There's blast of the past. Me from right? here. Help! Help! So we find a, a, a little friend here. Captain Old Dwarf. What? A sword you carry? I know that sword. Where'd you get it? But actually, this one I found in the chest. Never mind. We can discuss that later. For now, just get me out of these chains. Who are you? You know, it's been a long time since you asked me that. I think I've forgotten. Why don't you give me a name? We'll just leave it the way Amar. Uh, the Amar. Did they have a name again? The well picked. Uh, why are you being captive here? Unfortunately, like my name, I have long since forgotten the reason of my incarceration. A hundred years sir, uh, serving off nothing but rats and drips of water can do terrible things to a person's memory. I'll free you as long as you help me. Canadian spotted? <laughs> eh? Uh, no. I, I'm Wisconsin, if you're talking about my accent. Uh, release me and swear I will assist you wherever I can. I'm afraid not much of that fighter, but I can be the best blacksmith of all of Forsera. Or at least I used to be. Free me and I'll offer you my services for the personal, as a personal blacksmith. Okay. <laughs> Accent confirmed to be the same. They are close. Uh, they are close together, I think. Uh, let's just talk to him a bunch. He'll, he'll take off and he'll show us the path. Uh, there is a save up here, so... We will use that. Oh, Electronics Boutique was uh, huge in Canada. Uh, the malls around, at least in Wisconsin, had some. The, the, the mall that where I grew up had Electronics Boutique. Uh, that, that's, that's how I knew. Okay, we go past these creatures that have been locked up. We'll have to fight them right later. We're not going to Okay. And now we make it into the Goblin Stronghold. Ways from Minneapolis? They had it too, didn't they? Okay. So now we're gonna fight all the goblins in their stronghold to make this our own. Yeah, I love Electronics Boutique. It was great for games and anime. That's where I would go to get my anime. Uh, I think I found Cowboy Bebop and Trigun there a long time ago. Uh, and as well as Macros Plus. You know, the fun stuff. Now we're just fighting a bunch. We should be okay with our health. Uh, we're not, we're not going to hit all the boxes here. We're just going to adventure through and uh, kind of advance the game and show off what it is. I'm not going to collect all the items. You get enough healing potions. You should you should basically be okay. Oh, wow, that was a strong goblin. You got magic users there. Run down here, and we'll fight. I'm gonna heal, and fight the boss. There. there you go. The big giant sword helps. Helps him leveled up even. Now Ward's gonna kind of well tell you the whole done. purpose of why you're doing all this. Minister's accent infectious. I have a few friends from there, and they talk normal until they talk to each other. Then <laughs> to evolve from there. That's true. Uh, your first task, Admiral, it seems the faith in you is not misplaced. You have slain the goblin commander, and by goblin law, all those who serve under him must now serve you. 
Now then, it's time for me to tell you more about the true nature of your quest. All right, and we have a little bit of a, a history Mana, lesson. which transcends demon skills, command on my behalf that the far off draws near and that the past exceeds time and that space lingers here and now. The just evil adding goddess Kais, <laughs> Why is before the evil goddess who vanished long, long ago during the War of Gods. I, I always tell the story the of when I was in L.A. And so, I was again talking to someone island. and they, they said, are, are you from I Canada? I said, no, I'm from Wisconsin. The the and they just looked at me and said, where in Canada is that? I was like, oh. A hero is needed <laughs> who can destroy the evil goddess, no matter in what form she may appear. This is why I have awakened you. Oh, well, look at this. This look at the future. before you awoke. To the east, a ship has sunk in deep waters. The ship carried young people <laughs> traveling towards Mono, class, yep. seeking to prevent the resurrection of the evil goddess. They have been scattered in all directions, yet they are still alive. I, Parn, I didn't like the look of Parn. Of, <laughs> of all the characters they've made, the Parn to me just kind of looked the weirdest. This is Martha and his priestess Layla. The herald of the spirit of the dead, the high elf Deedlet. I want you to find them all, join with them, and help them in their fight. That is your task, my friend. So are you go on an adventure now. That that's your main quest now is to find the four heroes. And he teaches you how to use magic. I I always find it funny that he drops the book over here. Go is, it's like, go pick it up and bring it back to me. It's like a huge wizard power move. It's just to teach me something. And you gotta read the book. So now we learn magic. So it tells you how to use magic. So you hold down X, the magic thing comes. And when you get more magic, it has different buttons. You have combinations you have to press. So right now to use recall, I have to, I have to press A three times. And then we can use it. I don't know if it's telling you. It tells you how. And you press X and then press it again. So if you hold down X, you can bring up your spell list. If you press X quickly twice, you basically press it once to ready it and press it again to use it. <laughs> we're back in the goblin fortress all right so we're not we're not going to go searching around for a bunch of uh mithril we're just going to run over to the dwarf who's now set up a blacksmith shop and we're going to talk to him hey you seem to be fighting against the evil goddess he tells you to go get some items we're gonna pick up that sword that's there. Uh, and then he's gonna teach us how to upgrade our weapons that we have. So now you can upgrade weapons and, yeah, and build, you know, build your strength and stuff up that way as well. And it gives you all these fancy items that you're just gonna destroy anyway. Without the music, you can really hear the footsteps. And the footsteps change with the equipment you wear. So we're gonna put on, did I pick up boots? I thought I picked up some boots. There's some boots you get that are really loud. Okay. So he's gonna tell you how to upgrade weapons. So you get refined, you can sell things. He tells you just to sell everything or refine everything. So we're just gonna destroy basically everything we have. I'm gonna select one. Choose the weapon. You need to be looking. And they have these inscriptions that you inscribe onto your weapons to upgrade them. So we're gonna click yeah. this and put two of them on there. So on the left, you can see I can fit two of these into the the boxes there. And then you can say upgrade your weapons, and we'll get plus two to our damage on it. 
and we'll do the same kind of teach you how to do it on your armor. Upgrade our armor in the same way. As long as you have Mithril and you have room for it, you can upgrade your weapon as much as possible. Now he wants you to transform your sword. And you can transform it to any weapon that you had previously. So any kind of new weapon you pick up gives you another option of a weapon that you want to transcribe to. So everything I put uh, uh, upgrade on, the weapon I put upgrade on, when I, when I transform it into a new weapon, you keep all that stuff with it. So you can always transform your weapon into anything you want. He wants me to transform it into a one-handed weapon. I'm going to transform it into this because it just does more damage. Um, and he's going to get mad at me for it. Uh, your patience and reward I should teach you. Descriptions. Okay, so now you can go out here and it has a new transcription you can get. HP up. HP up plus three, strength up, dexterity up, damage up plus two. Uh, and we're going to equip what we have. Even though I can't, I'm using a two-handed weapon, so I can't um, equip the shield, really. It's, it's, it's equipped, but not working. And we're just going to upgrade our weapons a little bit before we... Uh, before we get going. He asked if you can make a sword. Uh, he asked if you can make a sword. Apparently, if you get 10,000 Mithril, he'll make you a special sword for you. So, uh, in the game, you want to save up 10,000 to make the, to get that sword. I can't remember what it is. It's been a long time. I think I got it once. I don't I don't remember what it is, though. What type of game? Uh, we're going to put some ancients on uh, this. Uh, we're going to start with this. Can I do this twice? I can do this twice. Uh, and we're going to grave that. A mighty spell. Maybe twice. Uh, remove it. And we're going to do yeah. damage up. Yeah. Right. can do that thrice. A mighty spell. That. And then, then I want to do my armor. What type of weapon shall I forge? Or shield. Let's do armor because yeah. the shield technically isn't. You need to be looking for a magic spell to be forged okay. into the weapon. Uh, let's grab some armor into it. A mighty spell. This also helps you uh, a not, spell. not get knocked down. Um, you would need even more mithril. Okay. Uh, let's remove. Yeah. Do HP three and just see if that helps with HP. A mighty spell. A mighty spell. A mighty yeah. spell. And we'll go with that. So on the side here, it, it says how many times you can upgrade it with these kind of runes. Um, so you can do a certain amount with each of these, and then and then that's it. And I think I don't know if different weapons or different things allow you to do more. If it's the runes that allows you to have more or less. But there we go. Now we have our weapons, and we'll open opens this up to the world now. So we go back, I think, over here to talk to to Wart, and he sends you on your journey. Uh, you can use your recall spell to go back any time. And there's there are different weapons that do more damage or less damage or things based on what you what you get. Uh, there's a weapon you get later on that is stronger to you know like dark elves when you have to fight dark elves. And you can, you're supposed to kind of carry different weapons with you depending on the situation that you are in. Uh, but some people just say you can recall and go back to transform your weapon to anything you want at any time. So it's kind of pointless to carry on weapons with you. You can just go back, change your weapon to what you need, and then go back to fight what, you, what you're fighting. I, I do, later on you do get inscriptions that can give you weapons that do stuff like shoot fireballs or shoot firebolts. Um, but I think they're only equipable on staff, so you, you could carry around weapons that do things like that, uh, that do special magic abilities and have a sword for fighting or something. Like that. So let's see if I can open up the map. So now we're in the open world. So there's many different places you can go to depending on where you're trying to go. So we were going to head to the Dark Elf Village to try to find Parn first, but you could technically go with, without in any direction you want 
to start the adventure. So there's the four heroes you're supposed to find. You could go find Deedle first, or you could look up Parn first, or Slain, or whoever uh, you're going to. Um, yeah, it's, it's some kind of poor Diablo. Yeah, it's very much like that. Uh, it's just you, the drops aren't as random as Diablo. Uh, so you find weapons and stuff by fighting the red creatures who are the boss room characters or enemies. And that's how you get the items. Uh, we're going to try attempt to run. I don't know how much time I have left. Um, we're going to try to run to the Dark Elf Village. Let's see if we can get up there in the last 10 minutes that we have. And the creatures do evolve. And you get stronger, you fight lizard men, you fight goblins, dark elves. There's ogres and uh, golems and things like that. All different kinds of creatures. The game itself controls pretty well. I enjoy it. I, I haven't had any real arguments on combat uh it is sometimes hard to just dodge things though so you got you got to be aware that you're going to be taking some some of the damage as you're fighting apparently dreamcast supports shoulder buttons but sega never released a controller is this that's what yeah you have to use the shoulder you don't have to but to get the map up, you have to hold the right and left shoulder buttons to press start. That's how you get the map. Otherwise, if you don't have the shoulder buttons, you can't, <laughs> you can't open the map. I think this is the way we want the swamp. Yeah, and then we have to go ahead straight up. The maps are pretty large. There's a dark out there. I mean, the maps are pretty large. I haven't really explored everything in this game. You do find dungeons. Oh, man, I'm getting stuck on stuff. Where's that? Where's that path? Oh, right there. There's one further. Two beefy triggers. Oh, yeah. Tri I, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thinking triggers. Not, uh, not shoulder bones. Those triggers are... They're really thin, though. The original controllers had really thin triggers. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> so now we're gonna fight these lizards. Yeah. Let's see, see one hit with with the sword now. Uh, those guys can do a decent amount of damage, so that's why I like the two-handed sword. It just does an incredible amount of damage, even though. Technically, you're going to take a little bit more damage without the shield. Let's try to run through the dark elf village here. And you can you can move the map if you need to. Uh, I hold down the left trigger and then move the the joystick. All the Dreamcast we can cram into an anniversary. It's true. It's great. I, I'm glad you guys are doing this. It's a lot of fun. Okay, keep running up the map. Let's see, can I go this way? Let's see. Yeah, we want to follow. We will keep following the road. It's probably the best direct route. Let's see, uh, can I go this way? No, we'll follow the route. Follow the route! Go that way. Yeah, I, th I don't know, the game has always run smooth for me. Uh, so yeah, as long as you can tank damage, you're... You're doing fine. Controls seem good. Gameplay is good. There's a story to it. If you like Record of Lost War, you probably would like it. Now we're in the Dark Village. Damn it. What is it do you refer? You're damn well what I'm talking about. Why was the village elder then taken captive? 
by order of Ruslib. Ruslib? Ruslib? Village of the Dark Elves. It is out of my control. Where are we supposed to be evacuating? Cardus is coming. All villagers must leave the island immediately. I do not question my orders. Ruslib said the village elder is to remain incarcerated in the pyramid. Now stand down. But she had. But she did nothing wrong. Ruslib is out of control. He's acting crazy. Perhaps, but Ruslib is our leader, and he will show no mercy toward those that disobey his orders. I know, I do not wish to challenge Ruslib either, but something must be done. Hint, hint. Something must be done. There we go. Oh, well, it's lost. Continue up. So now, now we get here. You can go in these red portals, which will take you back to your town. Open up the portal. So all of these are, are portals that take you somewhere in the world. Um... And then you go off to help the dark, dark elves, uh, and to save their leader, and they will tell you where Parn is. Um, and you can make different choices in the game too. I think I think the storyline does branch a little bit based off your choices. Um, so I'm probably going to end here, but I just want to show you, like, if you choose poorly, um, let's see, a great warrior. Uh, my name is Sega! Uh, and I'm looking for a knight called Parn. Parn, why are you looking for him? Answer me. Uh, so you, you could ignore it and say, oh no, I didn't mean Parn, because obviously they are very uh, angry about Parn for some reason. Uh, but we're going to say, I was sent to find him. I wish to help him. He's a sworn enemy of the Dark Elves. Come to the wrong place, barbarian. Prepare to die. And then, and then you are basically get killed <laughs> they're they're way too strong for you to fight uh so you have to pretend you don't know parn or that you that he's your enemy and that kind of stuff and then they'll tell you where to go uh but there are there are choices you don't have to help the dark elves i think you can bypass them somehow but i haven't really figured out how they uh yeah they're strong elves but they're all red so it means they're they give you items right so you could beat them i wonder if they actually give you something like, could you level up and actually fight them and get some item drops? I don't know. Could you kill Pyrogis? I don't know. Maybe. Or whoever the Dark Elf? I don't know. That, that is a question for someone else to answer. Like Google. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's just kind of showcasing Record of Most War. I think it's a fun game. It's a lot of fun. I think it's still fun to play now. As if you like retro games, I think it's still fun to play. So, yeah. We can uh, continue on to whoever's next if you want. And yeah, if anyone has questions, I'll be back to play Evil Dead late, late tonight at 12.30 tonight. I'll be playing Evil Dead. I'm going to do a speed run of it, but I'm also going to showcase some of the animations in there as well, the cutscenes. So it's not kind of a casual speed run where we'll see some of the animations. Sounds like a... He plays it. They're still stabbing your dead body, so they're really pissed at you. <laughs> Winning. Yeah. <laughs> That's their way of saying Engard. She just keeps stabbing them. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. I'll just hang out here until you cut me off. <laughs> 